We just arrived on the bus from Montenegro and this is country number... Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? This is our home for the next week. This is the bathroom. Under the sink, it has a washing machine and I believe a dryer, but you know, I have to look it up just to make sure because I forgot to ask him. <laughs> Big closet, huge bed. Oh, oh, by the pillow top. Oh, that's for, that's nice. That's gonna be cool. Wait, wait, wait. Beautiful kitchen. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be cooking or not, but we'll see. And look at this couch. Chris and I can both sit on it, which is a plus. A lot of places don't have that. Oh, and it's firm but nice. We were trying to find some soap, so they, that's why it's a Just disaster. Forget about this. These aren't the droids you're looking for. But the best part of this entire apartment, well, yes, the highlight of this apartment, is look at this view. Can you see that castle going up the wall? And Old Town's over there. This is gonna be fun. I know we get all like, oh, this is so pretty, this is so beautiful. Seriously, that view? Wow. When you visit Montenegro as a tourist, you have to register. Our host was gonna do it, but we decided to show you. It's one euro per person per night that you stay. And if you don't do it, there is a big fee or fine we've heard when you try to leave the country. All you need is your passport, your one euro per person, and the name of the owner of your lodging, and your dates of, that you're entering and exiting the country. Our host told us the office is really easy to find. We're gonna check this out and see. <laughs> I saw this ship in Dubrovnik yesterday. Their ride is a little more comfortable than ours. Well, I saw the hotel he was talking about, so it's around here somewhere. Famous last words, can't miss it. Look who's right above my head. <laughs> So if you back up the video a little bit, you'll see us walking right past this. <laughs> uh, we're here to register. That was super easy. Well, without my mask on, that was super easy. You get two pieces of paper. One they say is for the owner, and one is for border check when you leave the country. What do you think we should do now? We need to eat, because I'm getting hangry. Uh-oh. Well, I don't want her to snatch the camera from me, so... uh. Okay, I'm taking over the camera. He keeps stopping to film and I'm hangry. Can you feel that? We better go eat. Oh, hello Fluffy. I heard about a good burger, a good barbecue place. Even our person, our, I want to say landlord, but our- yeah, Kind of same host. Our host uh, said, you pick out your meat and then they cook it any which way you want. So that's where we're gonna head right now. You remember where it is? Yeah, it's right next to our hotel. I mean, our apartment. Awesome. I'll follow you. You remember what it's called? Something Barbecue. We are off to Something Barbecue to get something to barbecue. Yep. Boom. Ooh. Ooh, but before that, well, no, not before that. We're on the way to barbecue. I value my life. We have a super secret mission, side mission that we're doing while we're here. We have heard that one of the Russian oligarchs, uh, the guy that used to own the Chelsea football team, he's been dodging from around in here in his big super yacht, the Solaris, I think. So we are going to try and look and see if we can see him cruising around. That would be fun. That would be funny. Because his yacht is gorgeous. These damn billionaires have awesome yachts. <laughs> but they don't have you. <laughs> oh. All right, now we're really going to get barbecue. We had a wonderful dinner last night and I feel much better this morning. <laughs> and they're known for all of their friendly cats. And boy, do they've got friendly cats. Has nothing to do with the packet of treats in your pocket. <laughs> hey, dude, doesn't know anything about the treats in my pocket. No, but look, I have a treat for you. Yes, these are soft. So even if you have bad teeth, there you go. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. <laughs> I love this town. <laughs> Go away! No! No! Leave us alone! Go away, demon creature! Today we're going to explore Old Town Couture. Couture is over 2,000 years old. Oh. 
There's a trail that goes up the walls, but that's tomorrow's adventure. Unlike Dubrovnik, you can walk on these walls for free. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. Now that is a moat. Everywhere we look, it's just breathtaking. This town of Kotor is absolutely gorgeous. I know you've heard us say that a bunch as we've been walking around and wandering around the Balkans over the last couple months. It just every time we go someplace new, it is just all so magical. That's all I have to say. Um, 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 um. Katie's speechless. <laughs> and I can't wait to climb up there. <laughs> That's tomorrow's adventure. Yes. <laughs> Found a bakery. It smells wonderful. Double down. Double down. Okay. Bye. 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 It's fluffier than the one we tried yesterday. That's really good. I think it's fresher. And then this one, I've been seeing, this is cheese and spinach. I don't know the name of it, but it I looks like it. this. Oh, oh. It's like a giant pretzel. Good. It's lighter. They're really good. I don't know which one I like better. This one just has spinach and a little bit of cheese. The other one has lots more cheese. Two euros a piece, and uh, this one's less greasy than this one. We have to try it. Our host, host told us a story about how windy these streets are and how easy it is to get lost. And Chris is gonna tell the story now. A wealthy businessman was touring the streets and wandering. He was so enamored with how lovely the city was. Well, that got tight. Yeah. That, uh, <laughs> He wound up getting lost in the twists and turns, and he was too proud to admit that he was lost and asked for directions. So he found some local kids playing ball or soccer or whatever, and he said, hey kids, I heard there was a beautiful boat down at the harbor. And the kids ran off to the harbor, and he followed them. Smart man. That's the legend. <laughs> what are you doing? Looking for some kids. Kids! Yeah, but these are cuddly. Pretty sure 1166 means old. If we're only shipping things back, I'd buy a ton in there. you that are taking notes. When we first came by here, we were right up there. Clock tower and Katie. I don't know what this is, but it's got an obelisk. It's pointing towards the clock. I'm sure it means something. from the 9th century is basically new. <laughs> Time for coffee. Hi, 
you recommend? Okay, I recommend uh, ice uh, vanilla latte uh, and for you americano. She Sounds perfect. It. Thank you. Uh, you mix it and then you feel the flavor. Ah, thank you. Wonderful. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, I bet that's a winner. That is a good cup of coffee. And now there's music playing, so we're up. If you need a good coffee, stop by Milky Cafe. And uh, the staff is really sweet. And the coffee's good too. Now that we had Wi Fi, I could download maps.me. We're gonna look for the bazaar. This is very kind of shy. Well, we went on the map where the bazaar is supposed to be. Couldn't find it, so maybe you'll have a better look next time. And I think we're off to go explore that direction. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Make the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>